night that God is doing something on this night in this place. Giving honor to God who's first in my life, to Bishop Owens in his absence, to co-pastor Owens, amen, to all of the beautiful first ladies. Don't they look beautiful tonight? <laughs> to my husband, Pastor Evans, to all the saints that are gathered here tonight. On this night over 2,000 years ago, I believe Jesus was down in hell working on something for you and I. He was doing some behind the scene work. How many believe tonight that God is doing some behind the scene work for you? Things folk don't see, they don't know, but God is working it out. I thank God for this opportunity to bring forth this word, forgiveness. My scripture is St. Luke chapter 23 and verse 34. And it reads, Then said Jesus, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And if I was to use a subject this evening, it would be the blessing in forgiveness. The blessing in forgiveness. There are three important points that we want to raise out of this text tonight. Then we're going to take our seat. Jesus says in verse 34, the first word we want to look at is Father. He says, Father, which means to me that Jesus relinquishes his will. Jesus, who has had the power to forgive in many situations in the word, steps back from his authority. He calls on his father. He realizes that the situation that he is in requires a sacrifice. I don't know about you tonight, but I've been in many situations where I've had to call on my father. You know, sometimes when you were growing up and you got into some real hard confrontations, you didn't go and get your big brother, but you said, I'm going to get my daddy. Songwriter said, Father, I stretch my hands to thee. No other help I know. If thou withdraw thyself from me, whither shall I go? We may not want to forgive folk, but tonight I come to let you know that it's not what you want. For when you became a Christian, you relinquished your will. Jesus realized this when he was in the Garden of Gethsemane and he said, Not my will, but thine will be done. Father. Then after he says, Father, the second point I want to raise is forgive them. Jesus not only relinquishes his will, but now he asks the Father to remit their sins. The Greek word for forgiveness here is aphemi, which means to send forth or send away. Forgiveness signifies the remission of the punishment due to sinful conduct, the deliverance of the sinner from the penalty and therefore righteously imposed. It involves the complete removal of the cause of the offense. We forgive people only partially. I'm not speaking tonight about forgiving but not forgetting, but the Lord said to tell you tonight that 
You, you, you need to not only pardon people of the act that has been committed unto you, but you've also got to remove the cause of the act. If someone slaps you, you can forgive them for slapping you, but you also need to rebuke the cause of the slap. Rebuke the cause. The cause might be jealousy. The cause might be anger. The cause might be an uncontrolled temper. So I've got to rebuke the cause. Or do you know what will happen? They will slap you again. And the Bible says if they slap you on one side, you're supposed to turn the other cheek. Well, we only have two cheeks. So i like to submit to you tonight that you need to rebuke the cause of the slap. Another Greek word for forgiveness is kalupto, which is translated to cover. And it makes reference to 1 Peter 4 and 8, which says, And above all, have fervent charity among yourselves, for charity shall cover the multitude of sins. But I submit to you tonight that we need to stop covering up the sin. you but I will not continue to permit you to slap me. I'm not going to colluto this sin. I'm going to affirm I'm going to send it away. If I cover it up, it might raise its head again. And this is the problem in the church. People are continuing in sin because they only want God's colupto forgiveness. They want his covering. Lord, just love me enough to cover up my sin. Just overlook it for a while. So when I need to lay down my religion and tell my sister all, I can go and uncover my temper. I can go and uncover my attitude. But God said, don't cover it up tonight. Somebody say, sin did away. Sometimes we think we're forgiving someone by releasing them from marriage or from prison. But if the cause is not removed, when they remarry, they'll do the same thing over again. When they rejoin society, they'll commit the same crime or a new crime from the same root. But don't just say, I forgive you. You need to get to the root of the problem. Don't cover it up, or it will say like Arnold Schwarzenegger said, I'll be back. And before you know it, you'll be crying, it's back. But God said, no, you need my F for my forgiveness. I want to send that sin away. So when the enemy comes in like a flood, there is nothing to reach for because those sins are gone. They've been sent away. And the Bible says, shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. Jesus asked the Father to deliver them 
from the penalty. But then he erases it 